In the holy books it's written on converts, for an example, that they have a Jewish soul. So now that person came out to the world from a Christian mother, from a Muslim mother, from a I don't know what mother, and he got a Jewish soul. And he is a non-Jew, but he's Jewish. His soul is Jewish, but he must convert in the orthodox way, in the right way, with all of the, the, the chumrot, whatever. He needs to convert. But why? Only because he needs to go through a certain process to be recognized in the world that he is convert. And because that the Jewish nation are not able to know if his intentions are pure or not, so this is why there are certain rules of rejection and we must pile some kind of difficulties that not all of the rabbis understand exactly what they need to do and what they're not supposed to do. But anyway, the halakha, the Jewish rule, is setting certain kinds of difficulties that we must pile on a convert, on a person that wants to convert, because we need to test the amount of, of, of truth, of his real will, his intentions, how really strong he is with his intentions to come and to join the holy nation. And if he really will have that holy soul, and he will never gonna back off, he will be converted in the end, and he will become Jewish. So, you came to the world from a Christian family, you don't know anything about yourself, you think that you're a Christian, you think that you're a non-Jew, but the holy books, the books of the Ariya Kadosh, are explaining that you're actually a Jewish person. You have a Jewish soul. So what do you know about yourself? Where you got that soul from? You know that King David was supposed to die in a very... He didn't have life. He couldn't live at all. And Adam Arishon, the first man, gave him 70 years from his soul. So that's why Adam Arishon, the first man, lived 930 years. That was the time that he lived, instead of 1,000 years that he was supposed to live. Because he gave 70 years, 70 years from his life to King David. Because he wanted King David to come out to the world. So he gave 70 years of his life to King David. Great. Now, who is King David, I'm asking you? Is he King David or the first man, Adam Arishon? He holds the soul of Adam Arishon. And people were fighting about him, that he is a convert, that he's not Jewish, that he's the son of Ruta Moavia, that Ruta Moavia, she was a convert, and maybe the conversion was not right because we're supposed to receive converts from the nation of Moab, or we're not supposed to receive conver converts from the nation of Moab. And then in the end, the, the halachic psak was to accept from the women of the Moavim, but not from the men of the nation that calls Moab. Great, that was the Psaq. But for years, on years, on years, the rabbis of that generation, the wise people, were arguing on that sugiah, on that situation, if he is Jewish or not. And you're talking about the soul of Adam Rishon, you're talking about King David, Mashiach Hashem, the Mashiach, the eternal Mashiach of the world. And people are fighting about him if he's Jewish or not. Great, amazing, no problem. No problem. No problem. People can fight and Hashem, Hashem, the Creator, he sits and laughing. He's laughing. With who? With King David. He's laughing with the first man, with Adam Arishon, with Abraham Avinu, with all of the righteous ones. And they're laughing. Why? Because they know the path. They know the truth. And all of the ignorant people, the selfish ones with the lust and desires, the ones, the blind ones that cannot see the truth because they're not seeking for the truth, are arguing and fighting and contradicting and arguing and cursing and blaming and talking Lashon Hara and making wars in the world. And they think that they can prevent Mashiach from coming. Do you think that you have the power to prevent Mashiach from coming? No, I'm not trying. Do you know who you are? Do you know who I am? Do you know who we are? Do you know what's the godly plan? Do you know what Hashem is doing? You don't know, so sit and be quiet. Ask Hashem in Barach, who am I? Who am I, Hashem? Before you say your opinion, before you have an opinion, before you express yourself, check where am I talking from? It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks.